but the, uh, the white ribbon foundation um, has been formed to draw attention to this issue but also to acknowledge that there is some hope and uh, the research which has been conducted into this problem indicates that uh, building greater equality and respect uh, between men and women can reduce attitudes that support violence. And again, if I could reflect on uh, some conversations which are going on in CFA at the moment around developing a refreshed set of values for the organisation. Uh, this is uh, another great opportunity for CFA to include some very strong uh, values and behaviour statements in the way that we want CFA to be and the culture and respect that we want to see within the organisation. Social policy initiatives addressing gender inequity are central to reducing violence against women. So it's about uh, fair and equal opportunity and reducing the inequitable gender equity that we have in our workplace. And that also is quite strong within CFA. When I look around, particularly in our operational ranks, amongst our operational career firefighters, uh, also when uh, I look across the number of female leaders in our volunteer ranks, they are underrepresented. And there's no reason, there's no rational cause for women to be underrepresented in CFA. So I'm going to ask you all now to join with me in swearing the oath uh, against violence against women. Um, so what I'll do, I'll say a few words, I'll ask you then to repeat those words and we'll get through, it's a very quick oath. So um, after me, please swear. I swear, oh, let's put up our hands so we can really make a commitment I swear, I swear. Never, to commit, never to commit, excuse or remain silent, or remain silent about, violence against women. about violence against women. This is my oath. Is my oath. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself a round of applause. Uh, individually and collectively, uh, we've made a stand. The really important thing is when you go back to your workplace, uh, when you go back to your social place or your home, uh, to make sure that you keep this front of mind, not just today, but every day. Uh, if you hear of, or you see, uh, or you uh, are the subject of uh, violence, in the workplace, uh, particularly violence against women, then do something about it. I think you've all learned a muffin. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well done.